Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. King Charles III could be changing royal titles of a few family members. Now that he is at the helm of the monarchy, following the death of Queen Elizabeth II last month, aged 96. Her Majesty, born Elizabeth Alexander Mary, was the longest reigning monarch in British history, having served the United Kingdom and 14 other Commonwealth countries for 70 years until she died on September 8. She had four children with the late Prince Philip Mountbatten, including the new King Charles, Prince Edward, Princess Anne, and disgraced Prince Andrew. The Duke of York is now eighth in line to the throne, but his controversial friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, along with allegations of sexual assault, forced the palace to strip Andrew of his military affiliations and royal patronages in January. And King Charles may continue removing any trace of the affiliation to the dynasty after the prince embarrassed the family with his actions. Unfortunately for princesses Eugene and Beatrice, their father's conduct has had rather an adverse and actually disastrous impact on their royal futures. Royal expert Hilary Fordwich told Fox News Digital, the princesses are most likely to become Lady Beatrice and Lady Eugenie since their father, Prince Andrew's sexual assault scandal has purportedly poured ruin on their chances of becoming working royals. Beatrice, 34, and Eugenie, 32, are the daughters of Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. The couple endured a highly publicized divorce in 1996, but have remained relatively friendly through the years. Retaining their titles is highly dubious because the decision regarding their titles is to be made by and with the new reign of their uncle, King Charles, Fordwich said. Now, with King Charles II making British monarchy decisions, Charles is predicted to be making the use of titles more restrictive. She added, it wasn't just their father's conduct, but he knowingly and willingly embarrassed the entire royal family, with not only his friendships, but by also agreeing to his diabolical Newsnight interview. His refusal to help the FBI with their investigation into the aforementioned served to compound all his other errors of judgment. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.